Diego Correa now, the Portuguese driver, steps up to the plate, Dave, and uh, another interesting combination again, an E92 BMW with a Mercedes M104 engine underneath the bonnet. Yep, I didn't even know what that engine code was until I had a look at this, because I've never seen one with this sort of power. He's a crazy driver, though, picked up a lot of experience last year, coming very aggressive into that first corner. You see a little bit of understeer, but he manages it. He's had a couple of bumps with the wall in practice and as Diego Correa comes around this uh, last, our first outer zone looking comfortable. And this is where he's got to kick the clutch and fire it down the wall. And no fear for wow. Diego as he takes it right to the edge of the circuit. You can hear that 900 horsepower screaming through the bonnet and an amazing run for Correa from Portugal. 26 years of age, two-time Portuguese champion, showing why he's not making up the numbers here. No, he turned up to Driftmaster two years ago, Dave, and he was a nervous young man. He said he felt out of his comfort zone. He said, this is not really where I'm supposed to be. And look, two years later, look where he is. He's fighting in the championship. He's up there with the big names, and what a run. And he was absolutely flying in practice, and that has translated here into qualifying. Real commitment as he gets to the outside zone. You can see the way his driving style has progressed in the last two years. Correa completely fulfilling that outside zone, comes away from it perfectly timed. Just a little shallow on that transition, but makes it work because the way he gets to the wall gets that perfect arc. Yeah, you know, I've spoken to him a few times, and do you know what I've learned from speaking to him? Hasn't a word Portuguese. of English. Hasn't oh. a word of English, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but a really nice guy and a, an amazing run. An amazing run. So we wait for the score from the judges. He hits a 79, 79. So a couple of wobbles in there. You can see it coming out of the outer zone. Wasn't perfect, yeah. but I mean, I love the wall runs. I mean, yeah. that's what I'm here to see. That's what we're here for. That's yeah, what, that's what, that's what, we, that's what, that's what we come for. Let's be honest. I think most of these guys need to be Back to the start line we go, Dave. Yeah, and a, a guy that, I mean, he's been wowing me all weekend with his commitment. But a 79 this first run is Diego Correa from Portugal. Not afraid to throw this car around. He's been in the wall here more times than the guys building the wall. And uh, he's, he's not afraid because he knows the level. But he also has made some errors. He needs to tidy this run up. Let's see if Diego Correa from Portugal can make a difference here as he throws into that first corner. Wow. Oh, he catches the curve and he just made it work. See the front brake come on there just to tidy that run up. Incredible car control. Gets into the zone early but drops out a little bit. He's got to get back to the outside of the circuit. Not perfect. Now he's got to attack those walls. He's got to make this work as he throws it down the line on the outer zone. Just a little bit off throttle on the left foot, making sure he gets to the outside of the track. Good run from Correa from Portugal. Yeah, nice run. Um, didn't lack commitment, that's for sure, as Diego Correa fired that car through. But he did miss outside zone three, kind of shortcut the circuit, went to go wide. The car was gripped up to the max. And as he transitioned, it was a little bit too off of outside zone three. Did pull the rest of the run back together, though. Uh, yeah. He would have bled points, but will he get some points uh, in the back for that big initiation? Just, just jumped up on the curb and slid the car, and then he put it... I'll tell you one thing, Kevin O'Connell here should give him some extra points because he did bring the weather with him to this weekend. He did, know? yeah, so he did. He brought the sunshine with him. I think we should give him a couple of points for that because it's making the event so much more enjoyable. But he scores an 83. So an 83 for Diogo Correa from Portugal, and that is an improvement up into the 80s. I'm thinking that's around where we're at with most of the grid right now. So I think high 80s, 90s guaranteed. Low 80s to high 70s, you're, you're, you're having a little look at what everyone else is doing.